In time of pestilence, rain so small, so thin, I'm not even sure from my window that it's really falling. But flags on the ground grow darker, magnolia blossoms glow with a brighter pink. In the car park below, a couple's purloined metal trolley, bags in its basket tumescent with plunder, Oh, the relief on those faces, in aisle after aisle, shelf after shelf, plucked bare. Civilization so thin, I'm not even sure I can see it tearing apart. It takes a pandemic to show us how fragile we are, how swiftly we panic, how smoothly we slip back through time. The graphs climb higher, keep pace with our rocketing fears. Gaia is culling the species, preserving our planet, if not for us, then for more innocent life forms. Modelling outcomes, the experts spew brittle statistics, while we, who are none of us numbers, but real flesh and bone, because we are older and frailer, are one by one starting to die which, to be fair, we would have done anyway, sooner or later, our three score and tens well behind us. Puffy hands, shriveled lungs, stiff joints and weakening blood. And now the rain thickens and falls with a sibilant roar. Some of those petals are ripped off, and some of them stay. And white-masked spring goes trundling winter by on a gurney, sheeted and pale.